Welcome back everyone. Man, this actually looks pretty good. Maybe it looks a little bit too bright, but I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to pretty much delete most, if not all, the other storage that you might have in your device. Now, other and system storage are a little bit different, so I'll make a separate video talking about your system storage. But pretty much what other storage is, uh, pretty much like nobody even knows exactly what it is. Some people say it's the cache within apps, but pretty much it's just, I would say, the leftover residue of a lot of different things. So in order to delete it, it's best to see how much you actually have. So if you go into your settings, which is right here, if you scroll down into general, and then you go into iPhone storage, which is right here, you'll see a bunch of different things come up. Now for me personally, I really don't have that much other storage. Actually I do, I didn't even know I had this much. So I have 17.86 gigs of storage. Now with this say, system storage include caches, logs, and all this other stuff. Now I can tell you right now, the process that I'm gonna tell you there's really only one thing that will pretty much remove all of this, which I'll get into in a second. There's a couple of things you can do to mitigate this. You know, one of them is, is that if you actually have any apps that have clear cache or clear cookies or whatever within the app itself, then you're actually better off going into each individual app and seeing which ones take up the most amount of storage and then deleting the cache manually from there. So let's say Facebook, I'm not logged in, at least I don't think. But let's say you go into Facebook and if they have a clear cache or clear all cache whatever option within this app, I'd recommend going and actually deleting that or clicking that button so you can clear that cache and hopefully save a little bit of this storage. Now, like I said, you kind of have to go through every single app so it'll take a long time, but if it means you can save up some storage, then that's great. Another thing you can do is actually going into your settings and if you're on the main page here, all you want to do is scroll down until you see Safari. So right here is Safari. I can go and click that. And one of these options right here, where it says blue right here, it'll say clear history and website data. I can go ahead and click that. Now I don't know again how much of this is going to save. I'm sure it's gonna save a little bit. And once you click that, again, this will delete everything within Safari, the website data and all that stuff. You'll have to, the, your bookmark pages and everything are still there. I can go back into my iPhone storage. I can go ahead and scroll all the way back down. And actually that saved a lot of it. I was at like 17 gigs before, right? That saved up a ton. I'm at 9.67 gigs right now. I didn't even think it was that much storage. So that Safari in and of itself can save a ton of storage for you. Another small thing you can actually look at as well is within the Photos app. If you've recently deleted a bunch of photos, you might not even realize this, but some of your photos might not even be fully deleted. So what you want to do is go down to Recently Deleted, which is right here, and you want to go ahead and highlight all these and fully delete these. If you just delete them and go away, they're still going to be in here. So you're better off highlighting all these and deleting them manually from here. Now I saved the best thing for last because it's probably the thing nobody's going to do but if you're really, you know, like if your storage is pretty much taken up on all your device because of the other storage then this is probably what you have to do. I had an iPhone 6s that I installed iOS 14 on but I couldn't install Fortnite because I didn't have that much storage left. I had 16 gigs on it but most of it was taken up on the other storage so I had to totally factory reset it. I restored all that data for the most part. I had to manually download the apps and everything. But all that other storage was gone and all that system storage was gone too. So in my experience, I know a lot of people tell you, but you're probably better off just going and factory resetting the device completely from point A to point Z, but backing it up first. Make sure you back it up before you reset it. And then after resetting it, you want to install all those apps back in, or you can even just restore it back. And all that other storage should be gone for the most part. That's probably the number one thing I would recommend a lot of people to do is to back up your data, factory reset it, and then manually bring that data back into your device. That way you can go ahead and keep all this other app and all that stuff while decreasing the amount of other storage you might have in your device. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.